Well guys, guess what time it is. It's recovery time in the mountains again. Yes! Buckle up because this is a good one. We're doing a little bit of vlog inception right now because we were actually heading out to film a completely different vlog, which is what I'm really excited about. I'm gonna build a truck bed for my son, Bo, and we're gonna put it in the house. So apparently that vlog is now gonna to have to wait because we just got a phone call from Bad Boy. You guys remember Bad Boy, right? Well, apparently him and Hans were headed up to the mountain uh, to scout out an area where we're gonna do another photo shoot actually for one of our giveaway vehicles. And they took Bad Boy's truck, which is four wheel drive, but it's that's about all it's got going for it. So it's not bad, like driver's side's not bad, right? It's the passenger side that's the issue. Yeah, so it's like up, it's kind of like high center because it's like the bumper and everything. But let me show you, I don't know if I said that was the worst part. This is actually the worst part is look at this, this dumb ass driving. Hi, how's it going? Just hurry. I'm out of, oh, I run out of food and I really can't stand out. So if you can just hurry, I would really appreciate it. Now that we have the rescue phone call put in from Alec and Hans, I'm gonna call Diesel Dave and see where he's at. Cause obviously I'm gonna make him go with me because well, I'm not gonna rescue him by myself. myself. Do you wanna ride passenger with me while we go rescue bad boy? Rescue bad boy from what? Well, you see, our, our bad boy friend and Hans decided to go up uh, the canyon to scout out for, I guess, one of the giveaway truck shoots or something. I don't know what they're doing. I was actually going to film the bed stuff with Murphy for Bo. Hans let bad boy take his truck. That's what I said. Canyon. That's like literally word for word what I said. So Arizona bad boy is in the snow in his little truck with Hans. Turns out it is four wheel drive, though. So that's a bonus. I, I thought for sure it was two wheel drive. Bonus. But that's. Well, you know, he's not supposed to do any bad boy things without supervision. I figured hands would. Put a, yeah, no, they were. All that they, they were. They were both up there being a couple of bad boys. So I think we're gonna take Rattle Trap. Rattle Trap is a Cummins powered Jeep Wrangler that I've had for a while. It was a giveaway vehicle actually, but the winner decided to take cash because he didn't have anywhere to park a Jeep this big. It's big. I don't think we've showcased it on the channel before. You guys have probably seen it around before if you type in Rattle Trap. Uh, it's a bad Jeep, it's four door truck bed. It's like a, it's like a gladiator before gladiators were a thing. So it's inside this warehouse right now. Hasn't been started in a few months. We're going to go make sure that it starts and runs. Go grab Diesel Dave, go grab some kinetic uh, Yankum ropes and go see if we can get bad boy out. This is a bonus. This is a total bonus vlog. We were not planning on doing this, but like I said, I like to take you guys along for every single ride that we go on. That's even somewhat interesting. And this is our life. This is what we do. So let's go see if we can get bad boy. Well, let's go see if we can get the Jeep started first. This is one of our warehouses where we ship some tires and stuff out of. It's also kind of our vehicle overflow facility. So vehicles that we've done giveaways on that we're still waiting on the winner's paperwork or other things like, for, for example, the van. The van's a vehicle that we gave away. Um, but it takes a few months to process the paperwork so that we can deliver to the winner. So this one's getting ready to ship out to the winner. Um, this Duramax right here, same thing, ready to ship out. This one, I think, I can't remember, I think there were some complications with the winter paperwork or something, so there was a delay, but this is where they are. This is rattle trap. This is, this is my baby. The odds of the battery having enough juice to start right now are like really low. Like really low. I'm gonna have a lot of confidence and a lot of faith, but I'm also gonna be realistic and realize that we might have to go over and get a jump box, but we'll see. No way! It even gave me like the, the trick, like click, click, I'm not gonna start. And then it started. That's a miracle right there. That is the first time Rattle Trap has ever started without a jump box after sitting for a certain amount of time. So, we'll grab a forklift, move these tires, and it pulls that way out. I do these rescues so often that I have my most of my recovery gear just in my truck with me. Pretty much at all times. And I would love to take the Raptor, but the problem is, look at the tire difference. Those are monsters. I think those are like 44s. These are like 37s. This truck, this Jeep, whatever this is, Oh. It's got a dual disc clutch. So it's got this uh, big Cummins engine, twin turbos and stuff. It, uh, it's got a dual disc clutch, which is basically like an on off switch. It's not like a, hey, feather the clutch and get her going. It's like, you either floor it and go or you don't. It's definitely like an off-road machine and not necessarily like a luxury daily driver. 
sitting for a solid six months or so, probably ought to start by putting some good fuel in it. I get some more quality time. I hope you know I'm trying to find you an Uber to pick you up up here. <laughs> Spend some quality time with my friend, Hans. He's gonna get us out of here. I'm just confused. Just don't run us into a tree, okay? Won't drop a pin right here. <laughs> you think Santa's gonna come and give me an Uber? Are you good to walk? It's not far to go straight down. You stop by the hangar, grab maybe one more rope just to be safe. Make sure that uh, get old rattle trap at once over. Make sure that we don't end up being the ones that have to get rescued up there because this, this is the worst. It's usually what happens. It's usually what happens. Watch your mouth. <laughs> Number one tool for going and playing in the snow: valve core remover. This is the Harbor Freight Snatch Block, which like. 20 bucks and they work so well until they don't and then when they don't they just fall to pieces but i've not had one fail in a long time knock on wood i just really want to get this done before it gets too dark outside but hey can we talk about something real quick you know i'm just gonna this is gonna be straight for you the viewers should we just get rid of daylight savings time and just not lose an hour or gain an hour whatever it is whatever it does in the winter where the days become like three hours long should we just get rid of that and keep it from springing forward and falling back? Because there's literally nothing worse than dark at four o'clock. But now we're getting to the time of year where it's starting like 6.15 sunsets, then 6.30, then seven. I'm telling you right now, one of my favorite feelings in the world is like a nine o'clock, 9.30, 10 o'clock sunset. Up in Montana, sunsets around like 11.15 at night. It's glorious. So here's one of my rules of off-road recovery. If you're taking a recovery rope, take two. Because if your recoveries go anything like ours do, there's nothing worse than getting caught on the mountain with a broken rope. So primary rope, secondary rope, time to party. And my final thought on recovery gear is make sure it has a nice gear bag to go in with. Like it lasts you so much longer if you're not just tossing it in everywhere. Keep it in a nice bag. That way it'll provide you years of trouble-free service. Let me show you guys the other worst part about this. Hey buddy. Hey, pal. Hey, are you my Uber? This idiot's out here like TikToking and Instagramming about how he's this badass and got his truck up on the hill because he's bragging to people about how high he got. He's not telling him anything about how stuck he is. That's the kind of person we're dealing with right here. The bad, the bad boy. We'll be there in a minute. A few minutes later. We are at the trailhead of the Canyon Road and this is the part where we decide whether to air down or not. Based off what I saw in the pictures, I'm not going to air down. I'm going to roll the dice. The good news is we can always roll air down if we get up there, unless we get really, really stuck. That's the one risk we run, is not airing down and then getting in a bad spot ourselves. But yeah, I know this road well enough. I think we're OK. So right now, we're just going to go ahead and start heading straight up and see if we can find them. Like a Meanwhile. Longer than a few minutes later. Oh, there they are! No, that's another one. <laughs> hey, Mom, can I borrow the van? That's a Ford Explorer. They can tell me he's stuck. They're just. Oh, yeah, they're stuck. This that you walked out a while ago. Like last year. Not gonna lie, they made it further than I would have expected. I, they still have no business being up here because it's all pretty much snowmobile tracks from here on out, but based on the FaceTime that I saw with hands, there's still two or three big turns up here, so I'm actually kind of proud of the boys. Man, you look majestic right now. Do I look pretty titties? Look at that. Did you see that? The sun glistening behind his beard? Were you even listening to the word I said, or were you just looking how majestic I was? I just want you to know who got that shot. That was me. Oh, 
was spinning. He risked it all. This is the best thing I've ever seen in my life. Wow. Come uh, on here, guy. Explain what you have self right now. What did you, you not put your truck here? in park? No, I put it in park. You did not put your truck in why park. Don't you guys, why don't you guys? You, did you know what they did? Yeah. Sounds like it's going really fast because they put a spoke. Uh, like cars in the spoke. Yeah. Okay, so a new development. We found bad boy hey, hands. And, don't uh, say we. It's a we operation. They didn't put the truck in park. This is. So they, let me let me explain. They were hiking down to the road to try to find help. Thought they left their truck safely. They left it in part in drive. Oh! Are you stuck? This is the part where we air down. Remember how I said I was going to air down at the bottom, but I chose not to. Well, we made it up okay, but obviously. Now that we've stopped, the Jeep wants to be aired down. But watch this. As soon as I air down, this thing acts like it has tracks on it. Watch this. Did you guys try letting the air out of your tires too? Listen, Tokyo Drift over there don't got air in them. They're just solid rubber. <laughs> As you guys know, I try to turn everything into a learning moment. Most of you already know this. I would say 95% of our viewers know that if you're having trouble driving the snow, you air down your tires. Where does that put you? See, I'm in that, you said 95, right? Yeah. I'm in that 5% that knew that, but I was like, Psh, no, we got no, no, this. No, no. That's not you're in the, <laughs> what? You're in the no. bottom 5 percentile <laughs> of people who, yeah. I knew it, but I was like, we don't need to do that. So Hands here's, here. Here's a learning lesson for all of us, including bad boy, especially bad boy. If you're ever having trouble driving in the snow and you're having bad traction, let some air out of your tires. You can air tires. These tires were at like 40 PSI. We aired them down to probably about 10. You'll see the Jeep will do much better now we're not even gonna air down bad boys tires because the low pros probably only have like six pounds of F pressure in them anyways. Yes, bad boy. Uh, excuse me, professor. But you always tell us don't be a uh, You can bleep that out. And I so I was, I was gunning it the whole time, trying not to. Do you have any footage stuck? of me saying don't be a I have it. You, all you do is take pictures. I have footage of it. We were, we were driving up here so slow, I felt like I was one of those people that needed my mask on in the car. <laughs> I feel like you're projecting onto me. You want me to tell you to not be a <laughs> Don't be a <laughs> Alex. I wasn't being a <laughs> I was, I was gunning it the whole time. Mm, gunning it. That. You Just, just so we're clear, I'm going to rock his world right now. I'm going to tug him so hard. Ha! <laughs> Gay! It'll get him out but it's definitely gonna break his neck as well. He thinks this is just, so this is Alex's first job, first time job, first day of doing a recovery. He's never had to be recovered before. And to reward him for his terrible driving, I'm not gonna take any slack out of the rope. I'm just gonna give it the onion and see what happens. So, it should be fun. Give you a nice little tongue, all right? I have a bad feeling about this. Is everything. <laughs> I wish I would have been filming that. The one time I wasn't filming. Idiot. I don't know what happened. You just stop, Alec. We'll take, we'll take it from here. Why are you trying to kill me, bad boy? Why is bad boy trying to kill me? Take it out of gear. <laughs> now we're going to take Alec up to the turnaround point now that we got him unstuck. Leave his vehicle there, then we're gonna go shoot the sickest sunset. Shoot the sickest sunset. That's a tongue twister. We're gonna go get the sunset. <laughs> Just subtitle it because my mouth's not working. Hey, are you ready to go shoot the sickest sunset? Yeah, sickest Se sicky. See, it's harder than you thought. Sickest sunset. <laughs> uphill in the snow, but holy moly. I mean, come on. Thank you, Utah. Just putting on an absolute show right now. So fun fact, this is my hometown. 
Um, right here is Bountiful, Utah. I live right there-ish. The shop is down there. Diesel Dave lives right below this hill. And most of our crew lives in this valley here. Look how gnarly that is. That's my backyard. The cauldron hot tub is right in that area. And it is balls cold. You couldn't tell by my heavy breathing. There you have it. Bad boy got stuck. Bad boy got saved. And now, well, technically we're not saved yet because we gotta get to the bottom of the mountain. Yeah. Bad boy, you feeling okay? It's icy now. Okay, so hands is driving now. It is so cold up here though. We would do a long outro, maybe even do a song or something for you, but it's just too cold. It's too cold. Yeah. But here's what I do know. The Yankum rope always saves the day. That is that is a that is a plus. So if you want to get a Yankum rope for yourself, just click the link in the description below. You you Bam. Should. Use my link, it'll hook you up. Um, second, rattle trap needs to get out of the house more often. Yep. That guy rocks. Don't put him back in the house. Third, how about that sunset? Just killing it right now. Oh my ears are so cold. Fourth, if you're gonna touch someone out, Wait. make sure you gotta yank them rope, because if you do that with a toe strap, it ain't gonna turn out pretty. Did you do the <laughs> subscribe thing yet? No, you know what you guys should do right now? Ooh. You should click that subscribe button. And send us some earmuffs. And then write in comments what you like about it. Like, your best towing out experience. Have you ever tugged anyone out? You ever given a tug job? Be careful, please don't. Please don't share anything other than off-road recovery <laughs> experiences. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I've been talking about. Just that. That's all. Oh, and like it. Like, subscribe, and comment. That's what you're supposed to do. Yes, please. But wait, there's more. <laughs> nice drift. <laughs> So we made it about two, three hundred yards down the canyon, and then uh, I believe it was Hans this time that was driving. Hi. Here we go, guys. What a. This truck is worth, the most worthless piece of crap I've ever okay. in my entire life. Okay. Oh, I was, it, was it the worthless piece of crap? Or... Hey, guys, Hans here. Go to hands20.com. Hands20. Were you doing a that. promo down the canyon? <laughs> All right, so this, I'm not going to lie, this does, the pictures and videos don't do this justice. Hands, I saw him tap on the brakes and the whole truck just went sideways and started sliding. This getting really icy. Like when I say really icy, I mean it's like you can barely stand on it. So it's a little bit understandable, but still, here we are again. Oh, we're gonna just leave out the part where you tried passing me and that's what ended up this way. I, that's you flashed your brakes like you I wanted me to stop. I tried to stop and look where we are. Don't call any footage of that. Anybody? No? I, I, don't, I don't have any footage. Yeah, that's weird. Okay, so round two, here we go. This is the last, the third one's not free. Okay. <laughs> okay, but real quick, how about just another shot of rattle trap though? Because this guy just shines. Just so beautiful. Okay. We got, we got the shot. Ooh, <laughs> I let a lot of air out of those tires. I'm gonna start pulling him. How do you like that, David? How do you like that? It's cold, it's getting late, it's getting dark, I'm hungry, if I get stuck again, you can call search and rescue, because I'm ready to go home. And just like that, rattle trap gets put back into the warehouse, tucked in nice and warm, until we need him for the next adventure. Look at that guy. Thanks, rattle trap. Thanks, buddy. It's a cheap Definitely a rattle trap, but it always gets the job done. Every time. 
You know what we need to do? We need to do something with the fail of the year. Fail of the year, just chilling, waiting for an adventure. Hey, drop a comment below. You guys want to see us take the fail of the year out? It's been a while. That bad boy needs to go see some action. That machine actually works really, really well. Drop a comment if you want to see the fail.